Hello, Klaus here. I hope you have learned something by watching my tutorials. So let's continue that path by going to the edit suite. Let's go. So last time we looked into composite mode, which you can find in the inspector tab up here. So this time we'll continue a little bit about that. So as you see here, we have a little teaser I did for for this video or for the sake of this tutorial actually anyway um, here we have the in the top layer we have like a crunchy texture which I just uh, imported into the resolve and zoomed and made it fit over the um, over the text and then we have the text layer which I have right here and that's it and then I um, in the composite mode, I composited it. Not the text, of course, but the Grinchy layer. I, so I composite that to, I think, a multiply and then just the opacity to 100. And then, of course, I could take the opacity and make it more white and take all the grunchiness out of it. But I don't want to do that. So anyway, let's imagine that. We have a lot of these in our timeline and we want to minimize that just for the sake for making it easier or it, because we want to grade the, the two clips uh, at the same time or something like that so what you have to, what you can do is you can just highlight both clips and then right click and then we have this menu coming up and then you can go up and you can make a new compound clip and here it will say it will ask us what the name will be and we can just call that comp1 and let's create that so what that did was that it actually made the two layers to one so now we have this and that's very good so we can do that with all the other clips but then we realized that we made a mistake in the first comp but no worries we can click on that and then right click again and then you can go up and decompose in place so it will just decompose the clip and we can then go in and do the change we want to make maybe we wanted to make it a little more like that and then we can highlight both clip right click and then we can just do a new composite clip and say yeah create that well and by the way when you do this by decomposing, it will actually make a, a new video track. And if you do this a lot of time, you'll end up with a huge number of video tracks. So to fix that, you can just go right out here and right click and then go down to the bottom one, delete empty tracks, and it will just delete the empty tracks for you. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like or thumbs up. And if you want to get notified every time there's a new video, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. So, well, until next time.